Hi, I'm Patty Malika. In this video, we will take a black and white value sketch and interpret it into color using standard established color schemes. We will explore the color wheel as it relates to various color relationships. Using color schemes allows you to infuse your paintings with interesting and unexpected colors. Often I have stood out in a plain air setting and thought to myself, all I see is green. That was before I knew how to translate that scene into a wide array of colors. Now any setting provides a foundation for me to translate realistic colors into those that suit my artistic vision. Let's explore some of the established color schemes. The complementary color scheme is another one that's very popular and it provides the most visual contrast. Uh, it's made up of two colors that sit opposite each other on the color wheel. So for instance, red and green are opposite each other on the color wheel, yellow and purple, blue and orange, uh, yellow green and red violet. So with this color scheme, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have one of the colors in the color scheme be very dominant and sometimes also uh, more saturated or less saturated than its contrasting color. And, and this is so that they don't vibrate. If you put two complementary colors together in a very intense form, very bright, uh, they tend to vibrate a little. So it's, it's always best to have one that's a little brighter than the other. Now we're going to go with the triadic color scheme and I am going to use uh, the primaries red, blue, and yellow to interpret this, uh, this landscape scene. So let's get going. So I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'll use blue as my dominant color. I'll make the field blue, the trees blue, um, and just various parts of the, the foreground blue. So I like to start out with my darker tones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start brushing in. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit of white in there because I'm working in acrylics. Uh, it can often dry a little bit darker. So I don't want this to go totally black. Okay, now let's jump into the light. Um, now I've got my, my blues in and I need to get some yellow in because that's my, that's gonna be my next color. So uh, I need to start figuring out where do I want my yellow to go. So I think my light uh, is going to be in the yellow tone. So I'm gonna mix up a little bit of light, uh, light yellow here. I'm gonna start putting that in. So I see I've got some yellow stripes going across here. Basically these just kind of indicate some, some atmospheric depth here. Little planes of grass or whatever, fields. So they're basically just little accent colors, not a whole lot. Here's a, here's a light here. So it really helps when you have um, a well thought out value sketch. Now I can push this a little bit warmer there's no reason why I can't go. It still falls within the yellow stage, but it's a little bit of a orangier. And I can even, you know, introduce a little bit of a green in there. It's still blue, but it's a greener blue. Just got some various blues in there that are really fun for the viewer to, to take in. 
So I think that's it. And that is using a primary color scheme, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, um, now I'm going to put in my sky, and I'm going to make a purple sky. So let me mix up a nice batch. It's going to be a medium tone, so it's not going to go deep purple. But the interesting thing about this, yep, there I am, right in the middle. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that when you get the value right, you can really do a lot of things that are definitely not in nature. You'd never see them, and they end up looking not so odd. Like, you don't see purple skies very often, but... Once we put in our purple, you're going to see that it really kind of works with the whole thing. So this type of um, working with color schemes like this really gives you a lot of freedom to play with the colors that you like the best and not be bound by the colors that you've got in front of you just because they're the realistic colors.